Hello, first graders. We are on chapter 19 today. Let's begin by praying the, a Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. We're on chapter 19. So, the page posted there. All right, chapter 19. Jesus was raised to new life. The resurrection. He is not here, for he has risen. As he said, come see the place where he lay. Gospel of Matthew. Chapter 28, verse 6. On the third day after Jesus died, something wonderful happened. Jesus rose from the dead, which means he came back to life again. That day was the very first Easter Sunday. We call this great miracle the resurrection. Mary and the apostles were so happy to see Jesus alive again. And we are glad that our Savior is alive too, because Jesus rose from the dead we too can share in his life and live forever. At Mass, on Easter Sunday, we sing joyful songs that praise and thanks God. Jesus, the Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Jesus won the gift of grace for us. So now we too can come back to life after we die. We will go to heaven to be with Jesus. One day our bodies will also rise from the dead and be with us in heaven too. Because Jesus rose from the dead with his body, we know that we, be, we will be able to live with Jesus in heaven, body and soul, our whole person. So Easter is the day first when Jesus rose from the dead. Three days after he died, he rose from the dead. Alleluia, it means praise the Lord uh, in kind of Hebrew. And we use it many times in Easter season. We say a lot of alleluias in the Mass, extra alleluias in the church's worship. And then resurrection. Jesus came back to life, raised from the dead. And he just didn't come back to a normal human body. Actually, it was a glorified human body, all right? There's special properties. He was fully human, but kind of this elevated, higher state. After his death, what did Jesus do? Well, after his death, Jesus rose again from the dead, taking up his body that had been buried. So the same body rose from the dead. How long did the body of Jesus remain buried? The body of Jesus remained buried for, from Friday evening to the day that we now call Easter Sunday. So we call it three, you know, after three days. But you're like, wait a minute, that's not a full three days. It was Friday evening. Saturday, and then early Sunday morning, he rose from the dead. So there's three. They aren't full days, uh, but kind of at least part, partials of three different days. All right, and here we have a, back to the page 76. So this is actually part of a larger, I think we have, we get to the ascension. Yes, yes. So later on, we'll, this is just part of a bigger picture, actually, bigger painting. And there's all these different scenes throughout it. All right, maybe, uh, maybe I'll find it one time and we can show it um, when we zoom. Uh, but here's Jesus rising from the dead. So the, the guards kind of were fallen back or they're asleep, uh, kind of fell back in terror, actually, kind of. Uh, so he rose from the dead. And then over here, there's Jesus uh, and the women coming to the tomb. And then Jesus meets Mary Magdalene. She thinks he's the gardener, but then he says her name and she's like, it's Jesus. She doesn't recognize him right away. So Jesus rose from the dead, which gives us hope uh, that after this life, uh, we can go to heaven to be with, with our Lord, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever in heaven. And that our bodies also will be reunited with our souls one day. Uh, so this beauty that we know it's Jesus rose from the dead because it's the same body. All right, he didn't come in someone different. The same body, just to reveal that he's the same person. Uh, the same person rose from the dead. Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
All right, now let's move on to the our Bible here. We are on page 238. Moving along here. So we're going to imagine a special visit. Some wise men came to the city of Jerusalem. They were from faraway lands. We are looking for your new king, they said. We saw his star in the sky, and we have come to worship him. The Jews already had a king. His name was Herod. When King Herod heard what the visitors said, he was very upset, but he kept it a secret. Herod asked the Jewish priests and teachers about this. Where is God's chosen king to be born? He asked. In Bethlehem, they said. So Herod told the wise men, the new king you seek is in Bethlehem. Go and find him. Then tell me where he is. I will come and worship him too. The wise men left. The star led the wise men to Jesus' house. They went in and saw the young Jesus. They bowed down and worshipped him. They gave him gifts made of gold and sweet-smelling spices. But God warned them in a dream. Herod wants to kill the child. So the wise men left the country without telling Herod where Jesus was. Herod soon found out that the, what the wise men had done, and he was very angry. He sent soldiers to Bethlehem. He told them to kill all the baby boys. But Jesus was not there because God had warned Joseph, too. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus escaped to Egypt. They stayed there until Herod died. The boy Jesus. Jesus grew up in a town called Nazareth. He worked with Joseph in a carpenter shop. Each year, he grew wiser and stronger. God was with him. Joseph and Mary took Jesus to, to Jerusalem every year. They went to worship God on a special holiday called Passover. When Jesus was 12, he and his parents went to the Passover as usual. After the holiday, they started the trip back home. It was a long Way to Nazareth, they walked with many friends and relatives. After a day of travel, Mary and Joseph noticed that Jesus was missing. Have you seen Jesus? They asked the others. But no one knew where he was. Mary and Joseph were worried. Where could he be? They went back to Jerusalem to look for him. They searched everywhere for Jesus. They looked for three days. Finally, they found him. He was in the temple talking with the teachers. The teachers were amazed at how much he understood. We have been worried sick about you, Mary and Joseph said. But Jesus said, didn't you know that I must be in my father's house? Jesus was talking about God because God was Jesus' father. But Mary and Joseph did not understand. Jesus went back to Nazareth with his parents. He obeyed them and Jesus grew up. Everybody liked him. Jesus and John. John was a prophet. God had given him a special message for the people. Stop doing bad things and start obeying God. The Savior will soon be here. Many people listened to what John said. What should we do, they asked. If you are a thief, stop stealing. Give back what you stole. If you are mean, start being kind. Many people wondered who John was. Are you, who are you, who are you, John? Should we follow you? No, John answered, I am just a messenger. The Savior, Jesus, is almost here. He is so great that I am not even good enough to untie his sandals. When he comes, follow him. Then one day, John saw Jesus. Look, everybody, there's the Savior. He will take away our sins. Jesus walked to, up to John. Please baptize me, John, Jesus said. But John said, Lord, you should baptize me. I'm the sinner. It's okay, said Jesus. It will show everyone that I want to do God's will. So John baptized Jesus in the Jordan River. A dove came down from heaven and rested on Jesus. This showed that Jesus knew God was with him. Or rather, show, show everybody else that God was with him. Jesus knew God was with him. It reveals to everybody else 
uh, that he's the he's the son of God. He's the second. He's uh, the the anointed one, the Christ. This is my son. God's voice said from heaven. I love him. I am very pleased with him. Jesus is tempted. Jesus led. God led Jesus into the desert for forty days. Jesus did not eat. He was very hungry. Satan thought Jesus was weak. I will get him to sin. So Satan said to Jesus, If you really are God's son, prove it. Turn some rocks into bread and make food. But Jesus said, The Bible says that there is more to live for than food. Everyone must listen to God and obey him. So Jesus did not sin. Satan decided again to try again. He took Jesus to the top of the temple. It was very high above the ground. Satan said, If you are really God's son, jump down. The Bible says that God will send angels to keep you safe. That is true, Jesus answered, but the Bible also says that we should not test God. Jesus did not jump down. Once again, Jesus did not sin. Satan tried one more time. He told Jesus, he took Jesus to a high mountain. He showed Jesus all the world's kingdoms, all that of this belongs to me, Satan said. I will give you the whole world if you will worship me. But Jesus said, go away, Satan. The Bible tells us to worship God. Nobody else deserves to be worshipped. Satan left. God sent angels to, care for Je to take care of Jesus. Jesus had shown that he would not sin. He obeyed God no matter what. All right concludes that section. So let's close today by praying the angel of God prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard and rule and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.